Now here's a story because Birthing Better is all about stories. There was a woman who had severe heart problems and she wanted to deliver labor and deliver vaginally. The doctor wasn't so concerned about the labor part, although he didn't want it to go on more than 10 hours. He was very concerned about the pushing part because that's when you apply pressure in your body, particularly if you're tight down there. So he basically said to her, I'm gonna need you to deliver within an hour it's her first baby. She learned the internal work. Her husband helped her and she did it on herself. But there was one area in her vagina that was so tender to work on that she said to her husband, skip over that part, and she skipped over it as well. Well, she labored beautifully because she had learned these skills, so she coped and she managed well and her husband really helped her, so she didn't waste any contractions. She got to second stage and she began to push. And the baby got hung up you guessed it, on that spot that was tender, and it got hung up, and she was reaching that hour mark, and the doctor said to her, look, I have a concern about your heart, so I'm going to do a small episiotomy. At that point, she was thinking, okay, yep, I blew it, <laughs> so I'm going to have a small episiotomy. So he did a small episiotomy, she had another contraction, and the baby didn't progress, and then he said to her, look, I'm going to have to do a bigger one, and she said to him, now hold on just a minute, don't, just give me a moment, I'll focus, and she knew why the baby was hung up. She knew where her baby was hung up, and she was able to direct her efforts to push that baby so that that baby moved through that spot and the baby was born on the next contraction. So the internal work is very important. You can reduce your second stage down to an hour or less, and if you're having a home birth, it's important to get the midwife there because they'll be very surprised. You do not want to be damaged down there for life, and you do not want your baby to be held up in second stage. We'll tell you another story. There was a first-time mom having a baby. Her baby was posterior. It was obvious that her baby was very, very, very large. Her husband didn't want to do the internal work. She started doing it around six months, which is 24 weeks, because she felt her baby was large. So in the shower, she put her foot up on a stool, and she remembered, body over that way, work that side, body over that way, work that side, and she just kneaded it like bread dough. She said it took her two weeks for it not to be tender. But after that, it got more and more soft and relaxed and pliable. But she didn't know. She just knew. She felt she was having a big baby, and the baby was posterior. She went into labor, and her contractions were very, very short, and they were very close together. They were 15 seconds long, and they were 10 seconds apart. The midwife didn't want her to come to the hospital until they were well-established. She wanted to be in the hospital. So she got to the hospital, and the midwife checked her and said, you're effaced, but you're only one centimeter dilated. We'd like you to go home. Her contractions were still very, very short and close together. And she said, nope, not going home. And the midwife sort of rolled her eyes and said, you're going to be in labor for hours. Well, she wasn't in labor for hours. She was in labor for about two hours. And then she started to push this posterior baby out. This baby was 11 pounds, 3 ounces in a total posterior position with its head totally deflexed. And it delivered in five contractions because her vagina opened up like a lotus flower. What was interesting to her was not that that happened because she felt she had put her homework in and had done the work. What was interesting was that the next day when she was walking around the ward, all these women were either walking with their spread legs or holding their bellies because they had had a cesarean. And they were saying to her, oh, you must have had lots of kids and it must have been easy birth and a little baby. And she said, no, it's my first baby and he was 11 pounds, 30 ounces. And she said afterwards that she never felt she had had a baby afterwards. Within just a few hours, her vagina just went back to normal. It took her a few weeks. And her husband then said a few, when they started to have sex again that her vagina felt like it had before. So it's really important. Do the internal work. It's your homework. And you will know immediately whether you have done enough or not. Trust me, we all know.